you have the car lifted up, you're going to want to place the oil pan below the car. Grab your 14 millimeter socket. We're going to go in here underneath the car. You see right there. That's the oil pan of the car. and see the bolts around there. That's our oil drain pole. What you're going to do is you're going to take your 14 millimeter wrench, fasten it on there. Just remember lefty loosey, righty tidy, and we're going to unscrew that. Make sure you have your oil catch ready to catch that quick flowing oil. Just going to break that loose there. Once you get it loose, you can get it by hand. This is where you want to be a little careful. That oil can come out definitely a little warm. So if your car is warmed up like they recommend to do, make sure you get all that oil out of there. Now, when you pull the screw out, if it is hot, you drop it. It's not the end of the world, but you hold on to it a little easier to make sure that you don't lose that. Now, while the oil is draining, make sure you loosen the filler. Let it release any excess pressure and let it drain. Now, once you have the drain plug out, you want to inspect it. Make sure there's nothing threads mixed up. Make sure the crush washer is in good shape. I actually replaced this washer the last time, so it appears it's actually in decent working order. I'll replace it next time you see some of the rubber on this one starting to come off a little bit. Some people recommend it every time, but most oil change places don't. Very important that you put your drain plug back in. If you forget that, can definitely cause you a lot of headache. And you're putting that drain plug back in. Make sure you use that 14 millimeter wrench and you can torque it down now. I've done this dozens and dozens of times. So I do it to about feel tightness, but I will post the torque specs down below if you want to do it the official way. When you're ready to take off the oil filter housing, you want to get a 64, I think 64 and a half technically millimeter oil filter wrench. Got mine on Amazon for about eight, nine bucks with Prime. If you don't have one handy, you can use a locking pliers here like the uh, vice grips from Harbor Freight. They will get the job done, but they might end up rounding out your uh, oil filter cover there. As you are loosening this oil filter, make sure you put your catch can back down below. It will get messy again. The time to put your goggles back on as well. As you pull that filter off the final thread, just be careful because the filter may become detached and splash into that. We succeeded this time without. Now we pull that filter out. See, it's got the cartridge there, so we're going to remove that cartridge. It should work itself out of there. It's still warm, so be careful. And that is your oil filter there. Now, one thing that we do want to do, see how it's nothing too crazy in there. Nothing to worry about in there. We want to remove this o-ring right here because the oil filter should come with a new one. Now there's a couple ways to do that. You use a screwdriver. I actually use a pick. Got the set like this from Harbor Freight. Useful to hang around. I just hook it underneath there. Careful not to scratch that plastic. Kind of get it started there and roll it off. Now a new kit should come with a new one so we're going to roll that right back on the same way we took that other one off try not to stretch it out too much i'm doing this here with one hand so not to get my other finger dirty make sure you roll it back down there and before we put that back in we're going to use some oil we're just going to lubricate around there put the 
gold filter back in there. And of course, you see this one is actually the same on either side, so it's okay to go in there that direction. Spring loaded. Like I said before, put that back in. I'll put a little oil around there. I'm also gonna put a little oil around here to make sure it, it seals up nice. Put that filter back in. It's same concept as the drain plug, not too tight, not too loose. I will post a torque specs below for you. Now, sometimes these filter wrench are a little hard to get off, so you can just jaunt it in the back direction, not enough to loosen it, but that will loosen it off the filter for you. Also want to make sure you wipe down all underneath it, keep it nice and tidy as well. Now you want to take your funnel and your Mobile One Synthetic Zero W20 and fill her up. I'm going to do this slowly and most people recommend about four quarts to check because you can always add. It's much more difficult to remove and you definitely don't want to overfill that motor. <clears throat> now you want to pull the dipstick out here and make sure you're back on level ground so you're off the jacks or off the ramps. It's kind of hard to see here on camera but you want to make sure it's uh, at least halfway. Then you're going to want to run the car for a little bit. Make sure there are no leaks. Recheck the oil once it's warmed up so make sure you're not over full and make sure you can add more if you have to. Once that's done, you can put it back together, make sure you screw your oil cap back on there, and then my next video I'll show you how to reset that oil maintenance light.